כל הנביאים התנבאו לימות משיח. משיח, 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 משיח. All the prophets gave their prophecies for the end of days. אחרית הימים. Ninety percent from the children of Mahalash Shabbat in America got intermarriage. What the Nazis did not succeed to do to us, we succeed in destroying ourselves. We lose close to a million Jews a year through a simulation intermarriage. Close to a million Jews a year. We losing them. If you cut 20, some people traditional, they do what's convenient for them. If you cut 20% from religion, your son is going to cut another 20%. Third generation, they all go in. Who knows? We have life after life, and ours to rise through, and the only to rise through. And there is hell, Gaina, and there is the heaven. that if people understood, if they simply understood the fire of Geno, not in the worst level, the seventh level that doesn't end, when the Gemara Masechet Rosh uh, Hashanah, page 17a, says that the Mashiach will come, the resurrection of the dead will happen, the world will end, but that Geno will not end. That Geno will not, that section of Geno will never end. He's first one. If people just understood the magnitude of the fire at the first level, they would say, you know what, Hashem, don't give us any reward. Just don't take us there. Shabbat, you must keep it strongly. A person drives Shabbat, hello, is not Jew almost. Almost. Why? The Shulchan Aruch, yes, Shulchan Aruch here. Shulchan Aruch say, if somebody drives Shabbat, you're not allowed to give him Aliyah to Torah, to go to the Torah on Shabbat. The seven, the seven ones, he's not allowed to. It doesn't count. You cannot count in ten for Minyan, for Kaddish, like a goy. If somebody drives Shabbat, he touches a bottle of wine, become taref like a goy. You have to put in the garbage. See what Halel Shabbat is. I want to tell you, what worse, to kill a Jew or to drive Shabbat? What worse do you think? To drive Shabbat is worse. I am Rabbi. I'll prove to you. Who knows? We have ten commandments. You know we have ten commandments? Ten commandments. What the sixth commandment? Six one. What the sixth one? Don't kill. Don't kill. What the fourth one? Four. That six. Don't drive Shabbat. By God, there is no difference, honey. A Nazi slaughter a Jew or drive Shabbat. The same ten commandments. Don't fool yourself. If you violate Shabbat, according to the Torah, in twelve places in the five books of Moses. According to the Shulchan Aruch, seven places. According to the Zohar, according to every single book that was ever written by any major Chacham before this generation that wrote about Shabbat, every single one of them. If you violate Shabbat, you don't have a small punishment. You have the same punishment as Yehovah. You have the same punishment as the worst sinners that ever existed. Want to drive to be connected on Shabbat? You have a serious problem. והקדוש ברוך הוא אומר להם רשעים שאכלתם הגזל היה מתוק בפיכם ועתה אין בכם כוח לאכול אין המלאכי השרת, זה אומר קדוש ברוך הוא, אבל באמת זה מתאר את המלאכי השרת, the angels of God are pushing this, this sand glass in essence, sand, glass into their mouth, breaking their teeth blood everywhere, and they're stuffing their mouths beyond their control and then yelling at them, when you ate things that didn't belong to you, you had enjoyed it, why don't you enjoy this, it's free, why don't you enjoy this, here, why are you complaining, you're enjoying something that wasn't you, what were you enjoying, you ate something, you didn't say bracha, you ate an apple, you forgot to thank God, you ate a chulet on uh, like your head on Shabbat, you forgot to say Birkat Amazon. To eat, you didn't forget. But to bless Hashem they gave you, you forgot. Oh, can I have the short version of Birkat Amazon? Can I have the short version? To eat, you didn't have a short version. Three hours you ate like your head. Three hours you ate, you didn't have a short version. But to bless God they gave you, oh, I want a short version to bless them. This 
life compared to the real life is zero. You hear? Now, what the purpose of these few seconds in this world? To accomplish me sport, this is the only thing you take with you to Alabama. You don't take your car with you, your wife with you, your house with you. You take nothing, only with sport, only. Now, in that world, after you die, can you do with sport or not? You cannot. Over there it's too late. You didn't do it here, finish. The level you live in this world, that level you stay with forever. Now, we should remember this concept. We should know, digest this idea that you're going to die and leave this world. You're going to come to a world you cannot do anything. No more with God. God wants to give you a day, one day, all day, once in seven days, in a row, in a rolling life, to remember this. Shabbat. Shabbat, you're not allowed to create a new thing. Why? Because the Gemara saying Shabbat symbols is a sample of Gan Eden, of Olam Abba. Hazan saying, Gemara saying, Shabbat, Me'en Olam Abba. It's a piece, sample. You know what a sample? Shabbat is a sample of Gan Eden. Like in Gan Eden, we cannot create two more mitzvot. Shabbat reminds you, one day I'm going to die and not to, not to be able to put a fill in. Now I can. I can go study, I can go pray, and that will when you die and bury you, cover you, you cannot do mitzvot. That's why Shabbat is very important as a sign. To remind you, remind you, the purpose of your life, of the creation of the whole world. The purpose. If you don't know the purpose, what you want, what the whole world worth. You understand? We do tshuva as a nation, and I'm going to give you a secret and a side note. We don't need all the nation. We need a strong group. Can't make everybody do tshuva, but we still need a very strong group. Then we have a clear prophecy that the redemption will come soft. And trust me, you should be praying every day, all day, that that's how it should come. But chas v'shalom, if we don't do tshuva, there is a prophecy in the book of Hosea, chapter 10, verse 8. That it says, Leharim naflu aleno. The mountains are all gonna fall on us. This is talking about a war that is gonna be a destruction. This is not talking about a few men jumping with them 16s. It's not gonna be even soldiers. Talking about war of missiles, war of bombs, that everything is gonna fall down and collapse and crumble. The end of days. All the prophets spoke about the end of days. Believe it or not, we are already in these days. How many years we enter the Tkufa, the, the, the time of Acharit Ayamim? The answer, more than 20 years already. We are already in Acharit Ayamim, more than 20 years already.